Hi everyone, I'm back with another YouTube video and I have been playing around with the Tim Holtz tissue tape. I love this stuff. It is so much fun to play with. Um, I cannot wait for his new releases. It is going to be so much fun. Um, I was using the Cosmo Cricut circa 1934 papers and what I did was I covered the grid paper with tissue tape um, and as you can see when you get it close you can still see the grid pattern underneath um, the tissue tape which I think is so cool um, and once I did that I took the Tim Holtz crackle paint and I mixed up um, some colors that matched identically with the Cosmo Cricut paper line. Um, Tim Holtz has a red, um, a brick red color, but it is nowhere near the intensity of the Cosmo Cricut red. So what I did was I took the golden um, acrylic, the red phyllo color, and mixed it with the brick red um, and rock candy. Um, some, I was trying to think what other color I used. Um, I used three or four different colors. I wrote it down. I forgot to grab my paper. Um, and same thing with the yellow. I used mustard seed and walnut and a whole bunch of other, I think two different colors, antique linen, um, and came up with this mustard color. Um, but as you can see, the crackle um, that I got on this tissue tape is like none I have ever seen before, um, especially with using just a little amount of crackle paint. Um, usually in order to get this um, big of a crackle, you have to douse and douse and douse the paint, and then you can't see anything underneath of it. Um, but on this tissue paper, it almost acts as like a resist um, because before I coated this, um, and if you guys try this, you'll see the crackle like sticks up about a half of an inch away from the paper. Um, and you're looking at it as it's drying and you're just going, oh my gosh, this is so cool. I mean, it was just awesome. Um, but before it dried, I scratched along um, the different areas where I wanted the words to stand out more. Um, and then um, as I got to, as it finished drying, I wasn't for sure how I was going to um, cover it, to coat it, to protect the cool crackle formations that I got. I mean, this is just too cool. Um, it really did. And this um, area, you can tell some of the crackles did break away um, because they did get so high, but even that, it looks cool. Um, but first, um, I did the blue piece first, and I used the number paper on this instead of the grid, and I just think it looks really, really cool. Um, but I used the glossy gel medium and as you can tell it ruined um, the formation of the crackles um, when I swiped across it it kind of brushed away um, all of that definition this still looks really cool um, but what I ended up doing was taking the pieces outside and spraying them with the acrylic glossy um, coating and um, then I let that dry and after that was done drying I brought it back in and then I coated it with the um, the glossy medium and it made the paper more pliable so that when you cut it with the Sizzix or with a punch, 
Um, it doesn't destroy all of the crackle formations that you have. Um, so anyway, I wanted to share this idea with you um, to see what other people can come up with and to let you play around. Um, I had never mixed my crackle paints before. Um, I'm sure some of you other people out there have done that. Um, I just thought it was really cool and um, wanted to show you guys what I came up with. Um, and on my next video, I will share with you what I did with this paper in my travelogue journal. Um, so anyway, I can't wait to see what you guys have to say. And I hope some of you guys will try this technique and show me what you come up with. Thank you for watching.